to do some Christmas shopping today. So I figured I would do a little vlogging because I haven't vlogged in a while. And all right, so I want to start out by saying that I probably had one of the best nights ever. I say that a lot, but anyway, the other night. So my daughter, her birthday is actually tomorrow. She'll be five. Um, but she, I just passed a cop and I was speeding. Please, Lord have mercy. Okay. He's not turning around. Oof. Whew. Lucky Lola. All right. So anyway, um, my daughter loves Justin Bieber. Okay. Loves Bieber. So, um, this girl that I know, she makes cakes and she had posted on Facebook this Justin Bieber cake that she did. So I had emailed her and said, I have to have this cake for my daughter. You know, I have to have it. Okay. So on a side note, I posted a picture of it on Twitter, but it was awesome. It was tiered and made at a fondant and the bottom layer was zebra. I'm trying not to look at the camera. I'm getting better. The bottom layer was zebra and then the top layer was purple with polka dots. And then there were little hearts that said, I love Justin on it. And then on top, she had printed out a picture of Justin Bieber and then whatever, made it into a little picture and then stuck it on top. So it was the cutest thing ever. All right. So anyway, my cousin lives and she just moved to LA and her new boyfriend, uh, he is a musician and he's awesome. I posted a link to his YouTube channel on face on my Facebook page. Uh, and anyway, his name's Derek Nelson. He has a website. I think it's DerekNelson.com, D-E-R-I-K, Nelson.com. Or you can find his link on my Facebook. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, too. I forgot what his name is, though. But if you just type in Derek Nelson, it'll come up. Anyway, so my cousin had told him how Bailey loves Justin Bieber. So we have this big thing at Thanksgiving with my family. Everybody comes for like a week. And there's like 25 people at my parents' house. And we just have these week-long festivities. So one night, I'm sitting at the table and Bailey's on my lap. Well, Derek comes downstairs with his guitar. And he sits right next to us and he's with my cousin. And he starts singing Baby by Justin Bieber. Okay. She instantly turns around, clings onto me. I had like scratch marks from her squeezing me so tight. Okay. She's sweating. Like she gets that from me totally sweating all over the place. Her hair was wet. My neck was sweating from her getting her sweat all over me. Well, when he started singing, you know, he sang, he didn't know the words, which was hilarious. So my cousin had, I think the lyrics pulled up on her iPhone. So anyway, so they're both singing baby to Bailey. Well, then when they got to the chorus, instead of singing, you know, baby, baby, oh, he was going Bailey, 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 Joe, because her middle name's Joe. Oh my God. Instantly, she's hooked onto me and she goes <laughs> like this squeal this high-pitched squeal it was the cutest thing ever ever so it totally made her day having like this Justin Bieber birthday deal so anyway I'm gonna look today the last time I was at Toys R Us to get her birthday present they had a Justin Bieber cutout like a huge life-size cutout and at the time I didn't get it for like do I really want that in my house well, after seeing her reaction to the Justin Bieber performance, I have to get this Justin Bieber cut out. I got her a Justin Bieber Barbie for her birthday. And my brother and his girlfriend got her Justin Bieber pajamas, which she has worn three nights in a row now. She will not take them off. And a Justin Bieber microphone, which she has been in the mirror staring at herself in her Justin Bieber pajamas and Justin Bieber microphone. I mean, really? I, I'm loving it. So that's what I'm doing today. I have to go to the beauty supply store, which kill me now because I always spend ungodly amounts of money there. And, you know, and okay. So I did a hair tutorial, my latest hair tutorial, uh, Marissa Miller inspired with my cousin. I think this is like the worst feedback I have ever gotten for from the video. Okay. The biggest thing that people are saying is Oh my God, it looked so much better before you ran your fingers through it. I mean, just a tip. Okay, here's a tip. Why don't, when you try this tutorial yourself, don't brush it out. Don't run your fingers through it. Leave it with 
define curls. There's an idea. I mean, don't you ever do that? Like when I'm watching videos, I might think, okay, I didn't really need to add that at the end. Like I would, I would like it better maybe if there wasn't so much shadowing. So I just do that to myself. I don't type in the comments, OMG, Juicy Tuesday, I loved this smoky look, but you could have done without the extra eyeliner at the end. No, I mean, who, who does that? Just shut up. Whatever. Anyway, point is, is that it looked damn good in person, okay? And if you don't like it, I don't really care. Well, obviously I do care. I wouldn't be talking about it now, but you know what I mean. And what else? I found my Lola necklace. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. So my name necklace.com sent me this necklace. Love it. Well, I posted a few pictures like on Facebook and Twitter and stuff of it. Well, then I lost it. I lost the necklace. I had no idea where it went. And they were emailing me like, hey, Jess, just wanted to know if you were going to, you know, mention the necklace in a video or something. And I'm like, holy moly, what do I do? Like email this company back and say, yeah, I love the necklace, but I lost it. So thanks for sending it to me for free. No. So I found it. Okay, my son has this net, like this fishing net thing. He doesn't fish with it. It's like a toy. Well, the other day I was cleaning their room, found the net under their bed with my necklace in the net. Thank God. But I had even went so far as I the vacuum, I took the vacuum bag and dug through the vacuum bag to see if I had accidentally vacuumed it up. So, thank goodness. What a relief. There was something else I was going to say, too. Hmm. Okay, so I was just going to stop for a minute, but I checked my phone because I had a couple emails. Okay, so I just got... Um, an email about a post that Megan KBOS or something just posted on my um, YouTube profile. Oh my God, your voice sounds so annoying and or your voice sounds so fake. It's so annoying. Unsubscribe, period. Okay, hope the door doesn't hit your ass on the way out, Debbie Downer. Like, what the, what the heck? I almost said a bad word there. 